the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Boom! Pow! What's up? What's up, boys? Come on, get to your spots. We're playing. Oh, teachers, you guys in the house ready to do this? All right, you're feeling the energy today. Look who we have. It's a big day on the classroom. We have our students and our teachers from Bellhaven Middle School in Atlanta County. And guys, nicely done right there on the wave. Hey, they just entered the classroom, the show where students go head to head with their all time favorite teachers. Hey, New Jersey is in the house today and they showed up to support these guys. We got mascots, we got cash, and we have bragging rights. Before we even meet our contestants today, I have to see who studied. It's the top of the show, and we're going for a pop quiz. Okay, guys, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. I'm excited. I hope you are, too. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to bank you guys 10 points. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, your team's locked out, and the other side can buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz, guys, starts right now. The Transcontinental Railroad, the cotton gin, and electricity were some of the important inventions during what revolution? The Krishna. The Industrial Revolution. Students, strike first. How many dimes make up a dollar? Mr. Truax. Ten. Ten is right. What is the term for the geographic coordinate that uses imaginary lines running parallel to the equator? Mr. Truax. Latitude. Latitude's right. Here we go, guys. A little extra credit. This is worth double. Here you go. What optical phenomenon of colorful arcs is typically seen when the sun comes out after a storm? Truax again. Rainbow. Rainbow's right. That's going to get you up to 40. Let's get you back, students. In the NHL, the Golden Knights represent what city? Mr. Truax. Las Vegas. That's Las Vegas. What is the name of the Space Ranger toy in the Pixar movie franchise Toy Story? Mr. Grimley. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear's right. Students, you guys awake over there? Let's get you going right here. What is the term for any integer that is not a multiple of two and ends with one, three, five, seven, or nine? Here we go, Mrs. Parmalee. Odd number. Odd number, that's a right answer. What gas is commonly used to fill up balloons so they float in the air? Mr. Truax. Helium. Helium is right. That's gonna bring you guys up to 80 points here. Which Nick Jr. show follows the adventures of six fish-tailed kids named Molly, Gill, Una, Dima, Nani, and Gobi? Krishna. Bubble guppies. Bubble guppies is right. <laughs> what is the term used for an adult female turkey? Alex. A hen. Hen is right. Nicely done, Alex. Ariana Grande released a song on her 2018 album, Sweetener, named after what ex-boyfriend? Mr. Truax. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson's right. And how about you getting a little Ariana Grande action going on? Mr. T over there. Hey, teachers, 90 points on the board. Students, 30. We went a little silent there, but that's okay because we're off to a great start. We have the students and teachers today from Bell Haven Middle School in Linwood, New Jersey, home of the Falcons. Krishna, my dude, good to see you. How you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing awesome, man. Eighth grader, right? Yep. $500 on the line. It's a lot of money, right? Yeah. If you win that, where's it going? It's going to our eighth grade beach trip. We're going to try and get some better food. We're going to do some fun beach activities. You guys it's going to be amazing. Yeah, no kidding. You guys go to the beach for just a trip? Yep. Uh, where, what beach do you go to? Uh, Longport. All right, nice, man. So solid trip. All right, well, yep. good luck. That 500 go a long way. Uh, you guys made some t-shirts today. Tell me about them. So our t-shirts were from our Think Day competition. So we designed the front and we got to choose what was on the back. So I have my favorite guitarist on the back, his last name. Kiska, all right, what band's he playing? Greta Van Fleet. All right, nice, man, good to see you, Krishna. Evan, eighth grader, huge fan of Philly sports, and yeah. I can tell you exactly why. What's on the back of your shirt? I have my favorite Phillies player, Reese Hoskins. There the he is. He's been playing some ball here early, but who yeah. hasn't been, right? Yeah. All right, man, you excited to play today? Yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, we're glad you're here. Alex, how are you, man? I'm good, how are you? I'm just going to keep the theme alive here. You're a huge <laughs> Philly fan, too. Yeah. All right, who's on the back of your shirt? Carter Hart. Carter Hart, all right, man, the goalie of the future, right? Yeah. Listen, you guys think you can crawl back in? it today Alex uh, definitely all right well let's do it big game today beat those teachers yeah. huh yeah. all right they're juiced up to play I know our teachers are too mr. Grimley 500 right. my man what's uh what's uh where's that money gonna go to well we're really just here for the joy of winning so after we win we're gonna donate it back to the students and have some fun with them. wow oh every student that's watching this at home is going yes finally finally, finally. 
All right, this is a team full of math teachers, so no math questions today are going to be on it. Uh, but you got a little bit of a streak going. Yeah, I've never lost on a TV game show before. That's huge. you got to follow up with this question. How many have you been on? Oh, we don't need to worry about that. Okay. <laughs> so we move right along to Mr. T. Mr. Truax, you look good today in that jacket. Thank you. Yeah, you're filling it out nice. you you got a wild job growing up. Apparently, you know how to dress well. Yeah, so when I was a teenager over the summers, I used to work at a cemetery doing like a lot of landscaping and occasionally helping out with the funerals. Did you choose that? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of right down the street from my house. And perfect. They, yeah. All right, nice. You made like, good money, had nights and weekends off. It was perfect. Yeah, right. People are dying to get in over there, so that's Absolutely. great. Yeah. Come on. That's a teacher joke right there. <laughs> Miss Parmalee, good to see you, math teacher. Uh, homework, I say, is for the birds. You choose a little bit different. What's that all about? It literally is for the birds. But opposite, um, should the Eagles win when they win? My students do not get homework the next night. I big, think we can Eagles applaud to that big one. Eagles. Okay. You got to be my teacher. I'll tell you what, guys. We may not be doing homework right now, but we are sending three people to detention. Let's Woo. play. Not a bad gig. Birds win, no homework, and you don't have to grade it. Okay. Teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. Here's how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass. You choose to play. You answer the question right, you can send any member of the other side to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team gets to send one of you. If you pass, they have to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. You send everyone to detention. You are officially the winner, and 40 points gets added to your score. So students, you can fire right back here, get right back in this game. And that's where we're going to start, because we're going to start with you guys. Category is science. We should go for it. All right. OK, we're going for it. We're going for it. Here you go. What is the term for any long, narrow, steep depression on the seafloor that are the deepest parts of the ocean? Uh, trench. Perfect. There it is. Off to a great start, guys. Yeah, and now the hard part comes, or maybe this is the easy part for you guys. You've been dying to do this for a while. Who's going to detention? All right, Mr. Truax, you're going to detention. Oh, Truax, out of the game. Sorry, pal, you got to take that nice jacket and head off to detention. You do look good today, though. Do you wear a jacket when you're in school, too? Uh, every once in a while. All right, making it look nice over there. All right, teachers, back to you guys. Matt. Mm. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I think we'll take that. Oh, are you sure? Two other math teachers? Here we go, guys. What type of angle measures greater than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees? Greater than 180 and less than. Need an answer. Reflex. All right, go ahead. No, you have to say it. Reflex angle? Yeah, reflex That's angle is right. Good. Nice job. That seemed that like a guess, guys. I'm gonna. You, she had it 100%. Oh, I love that. Well, you guys get to send one of these great kids to detention now to join Mr. Truax. Who's that gonna be? Oh, let's see. Let's go with Krishna. Krishna, Krishna my Krishna. man, our team captain. You can take your seat in detention. Krishna, you ever have one before? Nope. That a boy. Keep that streak alive here. As we go back to you guys, your category is food. All right, play. We'll, we'll play. Angel food, pound, marble, and bunt are types of what baked good? Bread. Marble bread. Bread? Everyone's like, are you kidding me right now? It's the best part. It's the dessert. We're looking for cake. Bunt cake. Angel food cake. You guys come. You guys. I'm bringing cake next time we hang out. All right, teachers, you get to go send somebody to detention. Who's that going to be? Let's go down the line. Yeah, we'll go right down the line. Go ahead, Evan. Evan. All right, Evan, out of the game. Our Reese Hoskins fan. Okay, down to our last one. Alex, stay positive over there. You can do I'll this. Try. Okay, guys, here's your categories children's books. I'm going to pass it. Pass it, make him answer. Okay, here you go, guys. And by guys, I mean guy, because Alex, it's just you, not to remind you. In what book? Does Milo go on adventures in the lands beyond to return two princesses, rhyme and reason, to the kingdom of wisdom? Green eggs and ham. <laughs> that is a solid guess, but sorry, Alex. Sam, I am. You are going to detention. The answer was the Phantom Toll Booth. Oh. How about it? I didn't know that one either, guys. Hey, scores stand as follows. Teachers, 130 on the board after winning detention. Hey, don't go anywhere because the students, they're making a comeback when we come back. Welcome back to the 
classroom today we have students and teachers from Bell Haven Middle School in Atlantic County going head to head. Teachers, you're in a little bit of a lead. I'm not going to say a huge lead, but I'm going to say a little bit of a lead. And the students, you guys know what time it is. It's called comeback season. Get it trending on Twitter because there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win this thing. We're getting right back into it. We got spell check next. <laughs> Okay, here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. You get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're officially out. Your team eliminates everyone from the other side. You're gonna win 30 points. And if the clock runs out, each player left standing is gonna get 10 points just for making it through this tumultuous two minutes. So good luck, guys. Let's play spell check. Mr. Grimley, first word up. Here you go, grass. G-R-A-S-S. -S. Here we go. Krishna, front. F-R-O-N-T. Good job, Krishna. Score. S-C-O-R-E. Okay. Court. C-O-U-R-T. Good job. Reach. R-E-A-C-H. Okay, we stayed perfect. Movie. M-O-V-I-E. All right, Alex. Exactly. E-X-A-C-T-L-Y. All right, Mr. Grimley. Withdrew. W I T H D R E W. Good job, Krishna. Seriously. S E R I O U S L Y. Generation. G E N E R A T I O N. Deterrent. D E T E R E N T. Out of the game, double R. Mrs. Parmalee down to two teachers left. Alex, mortality. M O R T A L. I-T-Y. Good job, Alex. Way to work that out. Mr. Grimley, incognito. I-N-C-O-G-N-E-T-O-R. Down to one teacher left. Here we go, students. Unassisted. U-N-A-S-S-I-S-T-E-D. Good job. Stayed perfect. Negligible. N-E-G-L-I. G uh, A out of the game. Truex, that was a good try though. Tough word to spell. Students bank 30 points. Brings them up to 60. That's what you guys needed, and they got it done. Don't go anywhere. Picture day is next. And hopefully you guys are still smiling because the final exam is on the classroom right after that. Don't go anywhere. We gotta celebrate, baby. What a sweep. Can you guys believe that? Man. See you back too. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Bell Haven Middle School in Atlantic County, New Jersey. Check out this front row. It's a who's who of Bell Haven right here. Your name's Jacob, right? Yep. You go to the school. Yep. Uh, does he ever stop flapping or does he just keep? She just keeps going. Keeps going. Listen, you know the students, you know the teachers. Who's the smartest on both teams? I mean, they're all equal. They're pretty, all pretty smart. Maybe Krishna and Mr. Truex. Oh, wow. It's only because he's wearing a suit jacket today, right? Well, let's go to the minds that make yeah, this all I happen. Because Principal, what's your last name? Spears. Principal Spears. It's good to see you on the show today. How, how much fun is it to see your school up here participating? Oh, it's great. They're doing a great job. Who do you have winning this thing? The students just made a huge comeback in spell they check. Did. I go with the young minds. All right. students. They're hot right now. Can they stay hot? Well, it's about as hot as this bird who hasn't stopped flapping all game. The score is teachers one third. Student 60, everybody smile. It's picture day time. I give it up to that mascot because legitimately has not stopped flapping since we started this show. And we should do some periodic check-ins, so we'll see you in just a little bit. All right, guys, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. We made it difficult for you guys. I'm going to give you three clues one at a time, and with each clue, we're going to move three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture. How about it? Ten points get added to your team. You get it wrong, a member of the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. We have three pictures pictures today on picture day so three beautiful smiles let's see our first picture this historical person was rumored to be very beautiful tough photo there as we move into clue number two we're going to move three more of those boxes good luck guys chris jenner ann hathaway and heidi klum have all dressed up like this person for halloween
As we move into clue number three, this might get it where you have to go, guys. She was an ancient Egyptian queen until 30 BC, often referred to as the queen of the Nile. Krishna. Cleopatra. Is that Cleopatra? Yeah, it sure is, okay. Hey, comeback season is still in full effect. Students strike again, they got four straight here as we move into our second picture of picture today. This toy is part of video games and a Disney XD show. Tough one, that is a tough one. As we move three more boxes and I give you this next clue. This toy is part of a franchise featuring Nate, Haley Ann, Whisper, and Jibanyan. Finally, here we go, question three. Can this be the icebreaker for you guys? Here's your clue. It is worn on your wrist and features a removable friendship medal allowing you to summon a spirit, Miss, uh, Mrs. Parmley. Slap bracelet. Is that a slap bracelet with a smile on your face? Sorry, how about it, students for the steal? Krishna. Yokai watch. Is that a yokai watch? Make it five straight. <laughs> Back to 80. No loving it, and they should. It gave it away on that clue number three, and we put all those vaxes right back up. We reset your picture. Here's clue number one and our final picture of the day. This person is from Las Vegas, Nevada. Mr. Grimley. Elvis? Is that Elvis? Sorry, Mr. Grimley. Students for the steal. Alex? Bryce Harper. Is that Bryce Harper? Yeah! <laughs> Two straight rounds, 60 more points. You guys are on fire right now. 130 for the teachers, 90 for the students. I told you guys, it's comeback season. Can they keep it around? Because it is time for the final exam. Here you go, guys. The topic of today's final exam is health. How well do you feel about it? Good. I asked both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. Teams are going to work together during the commercial break. You're going to have 60 seconds on the clock to put those thinking brains together and come up with these answers. But first, we have to hear them. Let's check them out. Question one, topic health. Here you go. What main system of the human body consists of the heart, blood vessels, and blood? We move to question two, and it's all about health. Here we go. What book follows Stella and Will, two teenagers who have cystic fibrosis and fall in love despite not being able to touch one another? As we move into question number three, legumes like beans and peas are counted in what two food groups according to the USDA's My Plate Food Guide? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it and come up with their answers. Look at these guys, they're 60 points straight and there, their teachers want to make this happen. Who's going to do it? I have no idea, but we're going to see you guys right after the break to find out. Join us, this classroom, still in session. Don't go anywhere. Oh, before you go, you guys want to be a part of the classroom? Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. And back in the classroom. Hey, today, students and teachers from Bellhaven Middle School, that's right, eighth graders taking on their teachers. It doesn't get any better than that. The scores, teachers, you guys struck early. You had a fantastic start to the show, and you have cooled off since, but you still have 130 on the board. How about these three? Talk about a comeback. They've won the last two rounds, sweeping both rounds to put you guys back in the mix. Now, we head into the all-important final exam. We learned it's all about how healthy are you. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer is going to get you guys 100 points. Let's get right into it. What main system of the human body consists of the heart, blood vessels, and blood? We're going to start with the students because you're behind Alex. The cardiovascular system. Boom, there you go, 190, my dude. 190, teachers, you said. Circulatory system. Also correct. Bringing them up to 2.30. And the game rolls on. 
What book follows Stella and Will, two teenagers who have cystic fibrosis and fall in love despite not being able to touch one another? Students, you need it right. Evan, you said? The Fall in Our Stars. Incorrect, incorrect. As we go over to our teachers, you said? The Avengers. That's a heck <laughs> Go on, I'll give a guess that for Mr. Trex, the answer, five feet apart. Here we go, it comes down to this, everybody. Students, you gotta get this one right. The teachers get it right, the game is over. Here's the question. Legumes, like beans and peas, are counted in what two food groups, according to the USDA's My Plate Food Guide? Here we go. Teachers, you get it right. It doesn't matter what the students say. You said. Vegetables and starches. Incorrect. As we move over to the students, Krishna, you guys have been hot. You can win the game right here. Can you do it? You said. Fruits and vegetables. The answer, proteins and vegetables. They couldn't get it done. Teachers, big winners today on the classroom. They hold on to victory. What a game. The comeback falls a little bit short, but how about this? We'll see you next time right here on the classroom. So close, guys. You were so close. Proteins and vegetables, man. I would have said fruit as well, though, so I was right there with you.